What is going on guys? It is Bucky and welcome to another app review. And this app review is for the Weather Channels app. And this is an app that I actually, well I didn't find it myself, but I, uh, well I guess I did find it myself, come to think of it. And it's pretty useful if you check the weather a lot. And I work outside so I check the weather a whole lot. So the basics of it, you go ahead and you enter your location right here. I already entered mine, so I'm going to pick search. And it's going to say, alright that because I'm already on Raleigh right here but again you got all your different things that you would on the weather channels website the current the hourly and this is going to show you what the weather is going to do hour by hour um, 36 hour which is like a day and a half and 10 day which is I look at the most to say alright when's it gonna rain what day what should I wear so another cool thing about this app is that um, explore map and this is pretty much the radar, or I guess it's called the Doppler radar. And so you can scroll out by just squeezing your fingers together just like that. And this is going to give you the location of rain using Google Maps. And so if a front's coming in, you can actually see it. And, you know, if you want to be a junior weatherman yourself and not listen to the 10 hour, you can just diagnose the situation yourself. And they also give you video that I don't really watch a lot or any severe weather alerts and it says alright no active alerts for that location so that's good there's no hurricanes coming by here so I mean this pretty much would give you everything that weather.com did but it's a lot easier to use than just going to the website and I mean it's pretty much made for the iPod touch made to make things simple and just a lot easier than going to the website and plus you don't have to go type in weather.com you just click one button so that's why I'm gonna give this game um, a, or I guess it's not a game that's why I'm gonna give this app a 7 out of 10 I would give it more but the paid version they have a free version which you should get probably and paid version which is $3.99 and I got the paid version and I wish I would have got the free version but again I have to review the paid versions for you to see what you guys are missing so again a 7 out of 10 just cause if you really want to take the extra time you can just go to the website or get the free app but I like this one cause you got the map and all these other cool features that you probably want to get on that free one so that's that for this review um I hope you guys decide whether or not to buy it now so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and remember if you have any more apps you want me to review just leave a comment on this video and I'll review them for you so one last time, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.